today's story, Duck at the Door, by Jackie Urbanovich. It was a quiet night until thunk, creak, and knock, knock, knock. Someone is out there, but who? Let's go ask Irene. She always knows what to do. Irene, cried Brody, help. Someone is knocking on our door. It's the middle of the night, said Irene. Who could be knocking on our door? It's a duck. Irene brought the duck inside. My name is Max, he began. I was born in the spring and I loved it. I stayed behind when my flock flew south because I thought I'd love winter too. But it turned out to be cold and very lonely. Winter isn't so bad when you have a warm home, said Irene. At first, Max had a lot to learn. In January, he learned to use the remote control. He enjoyed Wild Kingdom and worldwide wrestling. In February, he discovered he had a flair for cooking. By March, he had made himself right at home. But by April, it was clear that Max had learned too much. Dakota, Coco, and Jessie Bear got tired of Max's new recipes. And Brody was just tired. Someone had to talk to Max. But who? Just then, Max burst into the room yelling, Listen to the quacking. My flock has returned. I can't wait to see them. Irene, please keep my chef's hat. And Brody, you can have my rubber duckies. I will miss you all so much. After many hugs, Max left. With Max gone, life was ordinary again. The cats went back to eating plain cat food. No one played keep away with the remote control. And Brody didn't have to share his bed. Life was so quiet that by October, everyone was happy to hear the sound of quacking. When there was a knock at the door, everyone was hoping the same thing. Max, they shouted with joy. Are you staying with us all winter? They asked. Yes, said Max. Me and... My flock! Everyone looked at Irene, hoping she would say something. But all she could say was, Welcome home. The end.